friends wish you a very happy new year as a part of upsc civil services personality test series today's tip is when you are asked a question by the board to take a stand on an issue when they want to know your opinion and if you have two or three options to take from and if you are choosing one of the options and if that is your stand the common mistake done by most of the candidates is that they will explain all the points in favor of that stand and they will take the stand but my suggestion is that you have to tell some points in favor of your stand and also you should tell some points against your stand because the board member should know the upsc board should know that you know both sides of the coin you are able to weigh both the arguments and then you are able to choose one argument you are able to take a stand after knowing all the aspects of the issue for example recently in the news collision system has once again surfaced because recently several high court judges have been transferred and it was considered arbitrary by several hence collision system is it right or wrong has been in the news now if the question is do you agree with the present collegium system of appointment and transfer of judges in india and if your stand is yes it is good then you can tell few points in favor for example you can tell that there will be no political interferences as well as the judges know very well about whom to choose whom not to choose and they would be monitoring very closely the performance of all the judges at the same time you have to tell a point or two against also you can say you can tell it is a most opaque method i mean there is no transparency in that method and judges selecting judges is no way there across the world except in india and then still why collegium system is better than njac like that you have to discuss and then conclude even for any issue for example the ip waiver south africa and india have argued asked for ip waiver and though it is watered down an agreement was made on ip waiver do you support the ip waiver or no see if you want to say that as yes, a support ip waiver you can tell that it addresses the vaccine nationalism vaccine inequality at the same time you can also tell that implementation agreement is difficult and you can tell two or three points again as ip waiver also and then take a stand friends use this tip in interview in personal test whenever you are asked a question to take a stand whenever they want an opinion thank you